Hello, running community. We hope that you had a great week. We have one shout out this week, and that goes to RMHS senior and AP photography student, Emily Bass. This uh, past week, Emily was named as a finalist in Hunt's photo annual high school photography contest. Uh, as a result, uh, she was one of 20 students to have her work hung uh, in the Hunt photo studio. So congratulations to Emily on this recognition and your excellent work. Shifting gears into our updates for this week. Uh, our first update is Teacher Appreciation Week. As you may know, next week, Nationwide is Teacher Appreciation Week. Uh, and I think I speak on behalf of the entire community when I share that we have some of the absolute best educators uh, here in Reading. Um, on behalf of our community, we appreciate everything our educators do day in and day out to support our students and to make such a positive impact on their lives. We have a note, uh, a form in our written newsletter this week where you can take one minute just to give a quick note of gratitude to a staff member and we will be sure to thank them and share that note with them. So if you have an extra minute, uh, please fill out that form or please do whatever you see fit to thank uh, some of the wonderful educators across our community. Who we are so lucky to have supporting our students each day. Shifting gears into the uh, Reading Education Foundation, uh, the REF uh, has teacher staff tributes available. So on a silver note of gratitude and recognition uh, online and uh, at the REF website. So um, these are our um, tributes can be purchased to help fund both REF grants and each school's PTO. So REF has awarded over $40,000 uh, this year, and we want to continue to do so. So it's a, you know, the community support is greatly appreciated. So again, in the written newsletter, you'll see a link to a form uh, that you can fill out uh, to help recognize and tribute a teacher and also make an impact by supporting REF and some of the work happening in our schools. So thank you in advance for taking a minute to support. Shifting gears into the Boston Kite Festival, you'll see here a photo of the flyer for the Boston Kite Festival. Um, so upcoming on May 20th is the Boston Kite Festival. So this is a day for both Reading residents and Boston residents to come together for a day of fun in the park. Uh, this was really well attended last year and was a great turnout, a lot of fun for our entire community. So come on out, have some good food, uh, enjoy, help fly some kite, and enjoy some of the camaraderie uh, with, our, with all of our families. And this is open to community members, students, staff, and families. Next update comes from CPAC. So you'll see here a flyer for uh, upcoming event through, event through CPAC. Uh, our Reading CPAC invites you to join a film and screening discussion on Tuesday, May 16th at 7 p.m. Uh, Anxious Nation is a, feature, is a feature documentary exploring anxiety in our kids featuring Lynn Lyons. Uh, Registration is required. And again, in the written newsletter is a link to a flyer with more information. A couple more updates. Next is our uh, Reading Police Department open house. So this is the fifth annual Reading Police Department open house. It'll be held on Saturday, May 14th from 11 to 1.30. Uh, a lot of fun things going on at the police station from NEMLEC equipment, canine, Middlesex Sheriff equipment, police SWAT, ATF vehicles, free helmet raffles, children fingerprints and ID kits, comfort dogs, bouncy houses, military Humvees, free food, and much more. All are welcome. Hope to see you all there. Uh, and last but not least, community education. Um, there's a link in the written newsletter to sign up for uh, community education's driver's education, which will take place at the end of June. So check that out for those who are interested. As always, we hope you have a wonderful weekend and go Rockets.